Hello scientific audience, how are you all? So today I would be demonstrating you the formation of calcium hydroxide, slake lime or lime water. For this experiment we require calcium oxide powder that is CaO. We require some water and I have some red litmus paper because after the base is formed calcium hydroxide the red litmus would turn blue. This is a small beaker in which I am going to perform the experiment. So now this calcium oxide is a white color powder people. Let me show it to you. It's a white color powder. Right. So I am going to take some amount of this powder in this beaker and let me tell you guys that this experiment is an exothermic reaction. So that means the heat energy would be evolved out. So if I touch the walls of the test, this beaker, it would be comparatively hot. So now let us add this water in the beaker and I want to make a point that calcium oxide powder is not fully soluble in water. So we won't be seeing the complete solution formed over here. Going to shake a bit. Now I will wait because calcium oxide is not fully soluble in water and it takes time to dissolve in water but meanwhile what I can show you is this is a blue sorry red litmus paper and red litmus paper is used to check the presence of is used to check the presence of the base. So this red litmus paper when added to the base solution turns blue. See this guys. Now why it is so? Because calcium hydroxide is formed as a result of calcium oxide dissolving in water but not completely. Now I am hardly able to see, feel the warmth over here but yes there is some amount of heat being evolved but not that much. And guys you can see that most of the salt has settled at the bottom because calcium oxide is not fully soluble in water you can check by yourself. The chemical reaction is so hopefully guys you have understood the experiment and please do keep on supporting me and thank you for watching the video.